We've learned how to add elements, how to edit them and reuse them as components. We've learned how to edit properties in dev mode, how to design responsibly, and we've learned how to use and add our own assets. We've even learned how to grab our real-time generated code. Now, all that's left is to preview our final result and publish our work. Previewing our project can be done at any time during the building process. We can preview a selected component or page in a separate browser tab. To do that, we'll just click on the preview button in the top right corner of the platform. If we want to publish our work, we have two choices here. The first one is using our own personal hosting service, that's done simply by clicking the publish button. This will publish our website on one of our subdomains. Don't forget that our service offers a smart image optimization system that will crop, compress and convert images to the WebP format. So you don't have to bother with optimizing your images. A few seconds after hitting the publish button, a link with our project will appear that we can access and share. If we'd want to change the subdomain name, we'd need to go in project settings in the general tab. For the second choice, if we wanted to go with a custom deploy and domain, we'd have to configure Versal. I'll link a how to article in the description on how to get started and learn how to work with tokens. After setting it up, all you have to do is add a Versal token in project settings under integrations. Your project will be then deployed based on your specific configurations. There we go, that's about it for this basic series on how to use the Teleport Studio. If you have any feedback regarding the studio or these tutorials, please come to us on our Discord channel or our intercom chat. And that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see each other in the near future when we'll launch the next more advanced tutorial series. Until then, have fun in the playground.